I'm kind of afraid that it's very spicy. Howdy. Thanks for stopping by, Dude RV. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, hey, click on that subscribe button and click the bell as well. We're not talking about campgrounds, although I am in a beautiful one. We're going to talk about cooking. big fancy chef uh, but I do have to eat and there's there's some things that I really like to eat and if you watch the channel long enough you'll know bacon and eggs baby I, I love my bacon and eggs especially when I'm camping and here lately I've become enamored that's right I used a fancy word enamored with what I refer to as the bear spray burger or the bear spray ribeye uh, and that's where I take jalapenos, onions, and sweat them down into a, a compote to, uh, to dress up the burger or the, the steak with. And I use this, this is my grandmother's, uh, black cast iron skillet uh, to sometimes do burgers, you know. But I've got a problem, I see the, I've been cooking on this little two burner gas stove for 20 some odd years or longer and I noticed the other day that the hose is starting to is, is cracked and it's it's falling apart so that kind of concerns me the last thing I want is you know when I'm out here cooking my bacon and eggs baby to have this thing just blow up in my face uh, and there's just there's only so much room on this little stove I thought, well, I'll just I'll buy a bigger, a newer stove, and I had a little sticker shock because it's been a while since I bought a camp stove, and it seems that you can't buy a good quality camp stove now for less than, what, $70? I thought, well, if I'm going to spend that, I might as well look at other cooking options. See what we can do to improve and expand on our outdoor camp kitchen. And I found something I'm really excited about. I think you know where I'm going. But anyway, let me do a set change. Set change accomplished. All right, have you figured out where I'm going with this? So the Max Care 22 inch features a cast iron griddle. So we have, just like we have this cast iron griddle here. Uh, it's, uh, I have seasoned it, not quite as well as this is seasoned, but this is pretty well a non-stick surface. And that's what I really liked about the stone was that, that skillet, nothing would stick to it. The rock! Another reason why I chose this is the, the burner shape. As you can see, we have two H burners and that minimizes the, the cool spot effect and you're still going to have the same cool spot here on the front because the burner doesn't extend the three inches so this is going to result in a cool spot at the front but, but that's okay we got enough a lot of cooking space here so we got two real good heat zones so we can t cook two different things actually three I can connect it to the RV 
with that adapter. Now that was a separate purchase, but I can also use the greenie bottle to power this as well, if for some reason I don't have that. Uh, and I've, I've bought an adapter so that I can connect it to a 20 pound bottle. So this is, this is way more versatile than I had going on here. And we've cooked a couple of meals on it at home. This will be the first, now, but now keep in mind, that sucker's cast iron and it is, it's heavy. <laughs> the one thing I did not, uh, I, I thought I, I really, really believed I had thought this through. I was measuring the table, the countertop, will it fit there? The one thing I did not allow for, and I was thinking because this, and I don't know why, I measured that, and I thought, well, that's cool. But the new griddle won't fit here where I tip, where I keep my kitchen. And a lot of, I, I see a lot of people that, that go to the flat top griddle and then they get rid of their, their gas grill. I don't think I'm gonna do that because there's a lot of things that we cook on the gas grill. I mean, that's an oven, really. I mean, that's, that's a good oven. Uh, I could buy an accessory to go on the top of that, but I really like that Royal King grill. Uh, it's perfect for being for cooking outdoors when you want to bake something or, or slow cook a foil pack. So I'm, I'm not planning on getting rid of that. Uh, but Yappy said she is she's in love with this. She is absolutely. And oh, by the way, all these things that I talk about, there's a link down there in the description to my Amazon influencer page. I've got several different categories so that you can, you know, you can shop for the newbie RVer. Uh, I've got the just the, all the stuff that I buy, and I buy a lot. I'm an Amazon junkie. But there's there's a camera gear page. So I've, I've started breaking it out for you so that you're not having to just scroll through one great big page. But this will be on there. We're thinking about just making this a fixture at the, out, the outdoor kitchen at home and going with the 17 inch. I'm undecided at this point. Uh, compared to the Blackstone, I looked at the 22 inch Blackstone on Amazon and it was almost $200. Although I did run across it on a, uh, it was a good Sam catalog and it was about the same price as I paid for this. This was about $100 prime. And I, it it should, took three days for it, four days for it to show up. In addition to that, I bought a, a kit, a Habanachi, however you say it, kit for cooking and a carry a carry bag and a cover so that I can cover it when it's raining we love it I, I cannot say enough we really like cooking on the flat top but I now am faced with a dilemma because I cooked a ribeye on this the other night and that was a oh, super juicy tender man that ribeye was good but I'm I really like a grilled steak on charcoal and that wood flavor so I'm kind of in a quandary here what's the better way to cook a steak if which way do you like it post a comment down there and tell me how you like cooking your steak I'm thinking of I'm gonna try doing something different this weekend rather than firing up the charcoal for the steak at the end of this video I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna see if I can combine the flavor of smoke and the flavor of the flat top. So stay tuned. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause this and then I'll cut back in when I'm cooking that steak. That'll be two days from now. Hopefully the weather will hold out. It's hotter than crap right now, so I'm sure it will. So stay tuned, more to come. Well, we're at the end of the day here. Our last night, kind of re rearranged my, my kitchen here. So I, I, I really enjoy the taste of a steak cooked on the charcoal, but I also really enjoy the taste of the steak cooked on the, the flat top griddle. So I'm gonna put the two together. I can't really put charcoal on that, but what I can do, and, and if y'all been following along for a while, you'll know that I use the Broil King 
and I've done this with the broil king to cook steak. I'm doing a cold smoke. I've got a, a smoke tube and some pellets in there. That's a competition blend. You can find that smoke tube down there on the, the Amazon link, my influencer page. Uh, but I'm gonna just cold smoke this for about an hour. Get that smoke flavor in there. And then I'm gonna throw it on the flat top griddle here after, after I sweat down the jalapenos and the onions. Oh yeah, we're gonna do the bear spray, the bear spray steak. The bear spray ribeye tonight. Oh yeah. And we're going to step up the Schofield by throwing some habaneros into the mix. That's right. I said habaneros. Whew. It's going to, I mean, I'm already sweating. I mean, might as well throw some hot food in there too, right? My kitchen is cooking tonight. Got me some, some, uh, corn on the cob going. Now normally I would put the corn on the cob in here and slow roast it in the husk for about 45 minutes, shuck it and put it into a butter boat with seasoning and rotate it and get it all yummy coated with the, it's not butter, it's fake butter. It's that lower your cholesterol fake butter stuff. Tastes like butter though. But tonight I'm gonna, I'm been, I'm steaming it under under the cover, I'm gonna squirt a little water in there and gradually steam it in the husk. And then I guess I, I've never done this before. How do you cook corn on the cob on your flat top griddle? Post in the comments down there and tell me how you do it. Um, and then I'm gonna do up some other vegetables and have a feast. So stay tuned. More to come. The corn has cooked quite a bit faster than I'm accustomed to. Seems that uh, this, that, that steam does a, a really good job. I mean, that's, that's, that's nice and tender. So I think I'm going to shuck that and put it in there with my steak and cold smoke that too. <laughs> so here we are in the prep stage for tonight's big feast cooked on the new flat top. We're gonna have asparagus and I've just seasoned that with my basic seasoning which is uh, Himalayan sea salt, garlic powder, and cayenne pepper. I've got the I got the faux butter the, 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 the faux butter smart balance supposed to help lower your cholesterol. I don't know. It tastes like butter, but it's not. Baby Bella mushrooms. I've drizzled on some Apothic Crush. I've got some fresh onions, the basic seasoning, and that's what we're going to go with, the, the, the faux butter. And here's the piece de resistance. In here we have some habaneros, we have some onions, we have some jalapenos, we have our faux butter, put a little garlic in there, and I actually, I, I have put a little, I'm gonna try something different. I'm, I'm just going all crazy tonight. I'm gonna put a little maple syrup in there, and I don't know, that may ruin it. <laughs> I've never cooked on a flat top, but I got to thinking, you know, sweet and spicy would be really good. I like sweet and spicy. So I just drizzled a little bit of that maple syrup on there. It may just burn on the flat top. I don't know. Lots of steam. We'll see. As soon as my cold smoke is done, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to cooking. Let's go see how it does. It really it really helps if your griddle is level. I don't I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm figuring it out. I still don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I think I may have taken on more than I can chew. <laughs> Bear spray burger. Bear spray steak. <coughs> I may regret it. <coughs> Try <Trying> to... <coughs> I'm, I'm trying to cook without breathing. <coughs> I'm 
What am I doing? I'm not sure if this is a good idea or not. Yappy said, are you sure you want to do that? I'm like, well, yeah, I, 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 I like hot and spicy. You sure? Yeah, well, pick, pick me up some hot habanero. Whoa. Oh, my coffin is upset. <laughs> All the coughing is ups upset the smoker. <clears throat> Sorry, we're, we're almost ready to put it on. Well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to eat. <laughs> everything's, everything's on fire. Nose, eyes. Ah. Wow. I'm, <coughs> I'm almost afraid to, to, to... I'm almost afraid to take that one up. <laughs> oh. Oh. Cook down plenty. I don't know if I can tolerate any more. <coughs> so when we're doing the coal smoke, we want we want the meat to have kind of this 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 color to it. All right, we're ready. Kicking my boy. Thank God, we're almost done. We're almost there. I don't know if I'm gonna be. I don't know if I can eat it, but we're almost done. Ugh. So if if you cook the peppers long enough, the capsation will all dissipate it'll all come out in your face so when you're eating it it's not quite as hot <laughs> but you 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 gotta work to get to that point
So the big question now is, is that dude even still hungry after all of that? Well, I'm not sure. Uh, that was that was pretty brutal. I don't I I don't know if I'm gonna do that again. But here we go. Let's. We're gonna start with the asparagus and the mushrooms, and the corn, and the steak. We'll get around to that. Asparagus is really good. Mushrooms are good. I think I'd prefer them foil packed and slow simmered so they'd be a little more tender. I'm kind of worried about this one. You got a lot, a lot of that pepper juice. That's good. It's not as good as the the uh, the butter boat method that I've been using. It doesn't have quite as much flavor. Wait a minute, let me take that back. <laughs> huh. That's the habanero <clears throat> on the back end. It doesn't have as much flavor, but it's got some kick to it. Ooh -hoo. Yeah, buddy. All right. I hope I didn't ruin this ribeye. I, I really, I really hope, I really hope I get this ribeye. I overcooked it. I was afraid of that. The griddle cooks at a much higher temp than I, I, I typically work with. That's on me. That is very spicy. <clears throat> that is one spicy ribeye. I'm kind of afraid. After what I went through with the fumes, All right, this one's for you guys. This one, this one's for y'all. Mm. I way overcooked them. <laughs> and they're so spicy. <laughs> I'm at a point here. <sighs> Hold on, I can't talk. <sighs> so Give me, give me a minute. The tongue ain't working. It, it's on a strike. Woo! Sun, that's hot. I can't eat it, but I don't know if I want to. I'm kind of at a, I'm at a, I, I, hold on. Wow. If you want to get rid of some grizzly bears, just fix them that for supper. Whew. So I'm at a I'm at a I'm at a point in my life where a man hates to be. And that is when I get home tomorrow, 
heck even on the phone tonight. Yappy's gonna say, how are those peppers? <laughs> uh, you know what my answer's gonna be? You gotta wait for the video. <laughs> <laughs> Whoo, that's hot. So I'm a big believer in the, the, the flat top grill. I, I definitely have a learning curve. Um, I'm, I'm accustomed to cooking. Whoa. I'm accustomed to cooking lower and slower with my veggies. Um, so I've kind of overcooked everything here, but with, with the peppers, I'm kind of thinking I should have cooked them a little longer. Oh, uh, whoo, son. I still think the, the, the flat top griddle was a good value. Uh, so much so that we're actually gonna invest in a smaller 17 inch unit for the RV and keep the the 22 inch for the patio at the house <laughs> if you enjoyed what all right man all right i think y'all are done i need I, I gotta have some supper uh and there's I, I know you would love watching me suffer more than what I already have <sighs> but this video is running really 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 long so I'm gonna end it here and I think I might eat some oatmeal <laughs> no just kidding I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat this ribeye uh, if this is your first visit to Dude RV Trust me, this doesn't happen very often. <laughs> uh, but click on the subscribe button because it might happen more frequently than I would like. <laughs> than, it might happen more frequently than I would like. For those of you who have been following along, please send me your prayers. I need them really bad. Uh, y'all know why I do this. I'm not, no, I, this is all on me. The campground thing, that's on you. This whole habanero, jalapeno, yeah, that, that was just stupidity on my part. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Anyway, thank you so very much. Y'all come back now, you hear?